You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. That nigga talking about we rolling. We roll up here. We were rolling over there, though. Over there, though. <laughs> what? My jewelry. That Timu jewelry? Yo, me <laughs> would be roasting. I'm not gonna lie. What's up with you and Timu? 2024, I'm firing all whole niggas, bro. What's up with you and Timu? Go ahead. Okay. Um, love Timu. Low key. First of all, let me just let me just say, ain't no shade because I fuck with Fashion Nova. I wear Fashion. I've never been on. I never even been on that website. Oh no, they, they got have, cheap ass shit just for. I'll probably say that like, you go on there and get like some shorts and you know some shirts if you just want like some little shit for like ten. Like I spent like a hundred bucks on there at one time and I got like ten things. Is it like actually good quality? Yeah, honestly, it's not bad quality. I was on. Like, sh- I'm not saying it's like it's top better, tier shit, but it's it, better than Sheen. Yeah, Sheen's I was on shit, Sheen, trash. bro. I, I know, bought this I shirt like trash. eight dollars, bro. I'd even put it in the fucking dryer. I just washed it. And that bitch shrunk up. I'm yeah. like, Jesus. The material bitch. that they be white making shirts with is trash too. Yeah, that's some shit where it's like it's one wear. Yeah, that shit's lame. Literally, if that, I might not even wear fuck that bitch. Sheen. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I probably wouldn't fuck with Sheen. I think about it. I bought. A, I bought a um, shirt off uh, low key Timu, and that shit still. You know that um, that, that I made it a cut off, but it says like Faith on it or whatever. You probably never seen me wearing it, but uh, so. that shit is like good quality to this day. But it was like only a couple dollars, so that's what I'm trying to say, bro. On Fashion Nova, they got shirts for like eight bucks. Yeah, you get like some shorts. I might need to tap in. I mean, I'll be on Fashion Nova. That's why I get a lot of my shirts, bro. I fuck with Fashion Nova. Man. Like, don't any, don't let anyone tell you that you can't that you can't look fire on a budget. I Maybe mean, not fire, but you can look. I mean, if you if you can style your shit, yeah. On a budget. It's all about how you style it, not yeah. about what you have on and how much it is. And exactly. Shit. Anyways, here we are. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Payday Off Podcast. This is episode 54. Damn, bro. 54. Sorry, uh, we have been out of uh, out of the way. We have, This is the first part of the new year because life been lifing. But we are here. We're here to stay. We love y'all and we thank y'all for being here. Yes, now, sir. with that being said, let's get into some shit. Christian just, we just, bro, breaking news. Christian just tatted blue face. Let me see. Let me just see this again so I have my uh, initial reaction because that was fucking insane. Christian Hold Rock on. just got blue face tatted on her face. Yeah, we should put the picture. That, that is damn. crazy. Let me see this. She has multiple, right? Like, she has like one right here. She has his name. His name on on top of her eyebrow. Yeah. Uh, some shit probably on her. <clears throat> what her kind of arm. dick is this nigga giving her? She got the neck and then, bro, like that ass. Should we? Must, like, I'm like, I'm like that nigga must be put it down on top tier dick like that. Yeah, That's you know, crazy. My, w, my W2's up, guys. Uh, no. oh, blur that out, bro. You probably got your social. <laughs> Dude. Um, yeah, bro. Like. I'm trying to think what percentage of this is clout because they just keep on going with these antics. That's the only thing that's keeping on relevant. But then, like, yeah. how much of it is actually like she's actually like crazy in love with him, like, and just doing this shit? I, I, bro, at this point, I honestly feel like it's just for clout. Yeah, I know it's a little bit of both. I but. feel like yeah, part of it is like she definitely wants him, I guess, and it has this attachment to him. But also, I don't know. If she's just maybe attached to the clout. I, I don't know. She's like, I'll do whatever at this point because she's all honestly. I'm not that surprised that she did that. Yeah, after all the other. Is bullshit. it on some like John Cabana shit back when he was Boom Gang and he was had all Just he was getting out. face tattoos, running out doing dumb shit for clout because that's what he was doing. I mean, yeah, yeah, just crashing out, bro. Like, Her whole shit. that whole you gotta think the whole brain is crashing out. Yeah, yeah, she do be crashing. She's just. Out. I've low key have never really been disgusted by just like a fucking what do you want to call them a celebrity influencer just like um usually. You know, it's like when you see something that annoys you, you're just like, all right, bro. But that shit keeps on popping up on my shit, and I actually get annoyed. I had to literally block Twitter or block Blueface and Krishan on Twitter, and then I think I blocked her on uh, Instagram. This shit still pops up on my shit. Like, I never been like with a, with a celebrity like, oh my god, I fucking hate them. But low key, like, I'm like starting to like to not fuck with them. <laughs> Wait, I can understand. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, and people be like, you don't she even know, you don't know what they're going through. I'm like, bro, it's annoying, bro. Yeah, come on, look at this shit. <laughs> they're dog. legitimately annoying. Like, get if that's how you make your money, go ahead. But like, they just annoy the fuck out of me, bro. But I just feel like at this point now, hey, wait, hold on. What happened to the one chick? What about the the Stewie Griffin bitch? Didn't they get married? Like, yeah, man. <laughs> I thought Chris Sean Rock and the niggas got married too. 
Yeah. I thought they got married. I'm, I'm actually, bro. I'm actually low key confused. It's all over the place. Hey, he's in jail right now. Yeah. For like the next six months. Uh huh. What, what did he do? Uh, Wasn't it because of the Vegas shit? I don't think that. No, he got sued for the Vegas shit. The Ve- he didn't. That was that's not like a criminal. I think he violated know. probation. Probation. I don't or something know. Like that. So you gotta go. He he there till like June or something like that. Yeah. They're just annoying. Even all the antics uh, for marketing, I'm just like, bro. Like, there's too much going on with them. They're like just too messy. At what this. point do you sacrifice? Like, this dignity become a thing? It's 2024, bro. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. Cause you can't say nothing about nobody without someone getting offended. So they're just like, I don't really give a fuck. I'm do what I want. They're free. Yeah. They're liberated. It's entertaining. Uh, entertainment factor. <laughs> right. You see a uh, blue face and soldier boy beefing? I saw that. Like little bits of. What it. was that about? Um. Blueface was on uh, like that funny Marco interview shit, and he asked him something about like name, name your some name songs. a song by me. Yeah, and then um, he couldn't like, name. Up and leave. Yeah, and then he named it, and then um, he was like, "Name Th- Soldier Boy." Just came in the mix, and he's like, "Name Soldier Boy songs." And funny Marco went off about that, and he's like, "Soldier Boy's cool." We basically said like he's cool, but I can like outperform him or some shit. And then Soldier Boy just being Soldier Boy started going off. But That's then right. they like they like went back and forth on some courage, like Soldier Boy was saying. He like fucked his baby mom, but he actually—it turns out he actually did. Or the blues lights were saying that, and then they're talking about each other's like baby moms that became like a thing. And like they were telling me, "Yo, meet me here." And then like Blueface actually like went to the spot. Soldier Boy didn't come. I saw and that. It became like a whole little thing. Let's be real. Soldier Boy would take any opportunity he can to beef with somebody. Oh yeah, he'd be talking. He right he, like, but he loved beefing. But in reality, nigga really ain't gonna do shit. Right. He's just one of them niggas that get tur- as soon as he turned on the camera, that nigga talking shit. As soon as yep. he turned off the camera, he like, hey, bro. Hey, that was good acting. Hey, yeah, he just, wanna, he just want to keep himself talked about. Yeah, that's how he <laughs> make money. Yeah. That's funny you say that because back in, when I was heavy on his beefs, when he was going like six nine crazy and shit, when he was beefing with Chris Brown, uh, I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, Chris Brown recorded a. They were like going back and forth online, <laughs> and then my bad, Chris Brown recorded because uh, Soldier Boy called him and he recorded uh, like his Facetime, and then Soldier Boy was just like, "Hey man, like hey hey Chris Brown like." like Call me back, bro. Like, yeah, we just, I know we just joking, but like, and I was like, damn, that's <laughs> when you really know it's all for fucking. They do it for clout, bro. That's how they. That's how everyone stays relevant. Yeah, just talk shit about somebody, and then y'all still friends behind closed doors. Rap game like the WWE, low key. It oh, is. God. That's that's what you consider that. Rap yeah, like just like all these characters and people going back and forth, and like maybe to a certain extent, some of it's real. Like, because if all the shit that they were like talking yeah. about and shit was actually real, niggas would be. Dead in jail. Like, no, oh, yeah, fighting, right, like, you would hear about more fights. fights. Yeah, so, yeah, it is know? mostly entertainment. Some That's of it why, is real though. Like, just, think about it. They all be in the same places at the same time yes. a lot of times, and nothing like shows happens. And shit, it's so yeah. funny because the, 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 oh my god, the internet is not a real place. It's not yeah, I'm entertainment not in general. Think about it because we want to we want to hear all the crazy shit. We want to hear King Von talking about running running down a nigga doing the drill. Yeah, that he's actually doing shit. But when nigga actually does it and dies, yeah, like stop the violence. Yeah. <laughs> wait, like, but she was just screaming that shit. Like, wait, nigga. Yeah. Okay, he really lit. Got the like, drop on his flexion, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He from Tennessee. Whatever he said. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, at that point, and you like, damn. For example, Thug is a prime example of that, bro. Literally, he's, he's a prime example of what you just said. Thug, thug, thug. Hold up, wait. Did you hear the jail call? Yeah. Oh, that's something to talk about. Yeah. I don't really know what the fuck was really going on in there. It was did you listen to the whole thing? And shit. I, I, I don't, how long I listened it? to like 60% of it. I mean, you, did, you listen, did you listen to the last part of it where she was. Where where she some was, cringy moments? Where she was doing the baby voice? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you catch that part? Yeah. I barely I did. did. I got that yeah. part. That, that's where I cringed. Really? But let me, let me say it like this I, I cringed because I, that's not a convo I should be looking at. Yeah, why did they like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole thing. Because like, someone did it and made money. They probably True. sold that shit to I'm somebody. All for the, I'm all for the baby that's voice. Kinda like, I feel like that's kind of fucked up. Like a private, imagine a yeah. private phone call leaking. Like that's kind of. That's like on some cute shit, but cringe does. Cause it's just like, well, nigga. Because it's like, that's, just, that's supposed to be a moment between you and your girl. Yeah. yeah so it just it's delayed it, to be let out in public. Thug, thug, thug. So gangster, nigga. This nigga yeah. was just sitting like. <laughs> just sitting there. It just makes you think. Think about, just think about all the shit that you, <laughs> like all the, the type of interactions and conversations you've had with a girl that you're intimate with. Right. I don't want that shit. It's like there. from the outside looking in, it is cra- It sounds cra- it not I won't say it sounds crazy. It just sounds cringe because it's like that's a that's an intimate moment. It's cringe to watch. It's like, yeah, it's like you're not supposed to hear that. Like right. that's, that's just PDA, between you that's two. What, it's like PDA is yeah. it's cringy. It's like you you, you have like you 
you have to keep that shit private. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to fuck that shit happened. Someone, someone sold that. Someone that worked there more than likely sold that bitch to someone to make money, and they put it out. Like, yo, I got, I got this leak, uh, jail call. What's his face? I can sell it to you. Boom. They yeah. made bread off that shit. So someone in there gonna get fired. I low key don't fuck with that. Yeah. But how much longer Doug got? Shit, the way it's looking, boy. His dog, that, hey, his his uh childhood friend looked like he snitching one moment, next moment he looked like he helping the nigga. I don't know what the fuck this nigga doing. Dude? Yeah, slug, bro. I can't tell if he helping or not helping. Nigga, is you it, like what is you doing? You saw that video of uh, them playing lifestyle in the courtroom? Yeah, that was crazy. The white dude in the back was in that video. Nigga, like I, nigga, I watched sad. the whole video. I was sit, I was sitting there singing the shit. Bitch. <laughs> I was like. Lifestyle, bro. There was that song is, were, bro. That song is hard. It's timeless. That song is timeless. Bro, I've been but, try, I was trying. I was trying to figure out what y'all getting out of that shit. Like, bro, it's entertainment. They're trying to, they're trying to catch something, I guess. In there, like, bro, y'all are they're trying to say he's in gangs, but my nigga, gangs are bro, not what they used to be. I'm gonna keep it because they're trying to do that whole what's it like what the the thug means truly humbled under God. Yeah, I feel like they would have been better off just taking the angle of Tupac. Like, what? Yeah, they can take the angle of Tupac. Nigga, Tupac told niggas what a thug was. What'd he say? What'd he say? He was... He, he said he said he says he uses... He has the word thug because he had thug like tattooed across his... He, he said he got that because people, when they see you, they don't care that you black. They look at you as a thug regardless. So that's why... That, he could have took that approach too. They that's what... It. I was just going to say that they should have just taken the angle of... Yo, like... It's just, I'm just a character. Just it's just entertainment. It's like I'm like an actor. Yeah. It's like I'm just like this is my persona. It's like that's the angle that I feel like people have to take with music. Because my thing is, bro, mm -hmm. he could take he could have took that approach, and then he could have been like, "Yo, I rapped about the things because I lived around the things. I didn't necessarily do any of the things." Like that's the approach you could take in his case. Because like, yeah, I know these people. I've I've hung out with these people. Or you just say you're acting. No, no, no. I'm talking about because they found they know he's involved with these certain people. So my thing is, yes, I might I might know these people. That don't mean I'm actively doing anything. Nigga, I got guns in my house. Why? Because I hang out with these people and they know people. So if people want to get back at them, they're gonna come after me. So I gotta present. Like, there's so many ways that you can spin this case. It's but spin I, the narrative, bro. The niggas, the niggas, more than likely he's gonna walk. You think? Yeah, really? I feel like he's gonna walk because, bro. The, they don't know what I'm trying to figure out what the prosecutor's angle is. I can't figure it out because you're trying to get you're trying to do the gang thing. But my nigga Snoop Dogg is in a gang and this nigga was on national TV throwing up C's and Crip Walker with a blue bandana an outfit. Murder. I so, got, yeah. The only thing is, is that there's not there's nothing that he got caught up in besides the murder case. Nigga, that he got caught up back, back in the 90s. But, but being in a gang is supposed to be illegal. You're not even allowed to be in gangs. Technically speaking, that's illegal. I got you. But that, that's that's one thing. There's not enough substantial evidence that comes with you. You just saying that I'm in a gang that yeah. they have to find something to tie you to. You right. know what I'm saying? You, me just saying I'm in a gang is not going to get me arrested. Blue. I can go to a cop and say, hey, I'm in a gang. They can't arrest me because I say that. You know what I mean? There's got to be something that, that ties to that. So he's in a gang. Cool. But obviously there's other shit that's been happening that he is surrounded around. Like even with the fucking wife and Lucci shit. Like, mm. I'm just trying to figure out what the angle was because they asked um, what homeboy like is – um. Gunning is a gunner a crip and this is a crip, but bro, y'all the whole angle before that was blood gang. But my nigga, now you're talking about crips. Well, if they're crips, yeah. why would they be with them? I ain't been following so, that shit enough to know exactly every little thing they be talking about. I it's just like, like catch shit on Axe page, yeah. and then I just see it. Yeah, I can't even say too much about those kids because I haven't been keeping up with it, to be honest. That nigga it just became like, I'm like, all right, bro, I kind of checked out. Yeah, but, that's how I feel. What's up with uh, Melly, though? I don't know. I don't know. None of that. That nigga, bro, he is good as dead. They finna, they finna fry that nigga, bro. That nigga ain't fry him, out. bro. That nigga, but they gonna get that nigga the death penalty, bro. That nigga is not getting out. What I makes can't you say that? Turns with that, bro. There's too much evidence. The prosecutor just was that bad. Mm. Like, bro, there literally nobody in their right mind could say that this nigga was not in that car when that shit happened. Whether he killed him or the other nigga killed him, somebody killed him and somebody knows. So somebody got to go down for it. Mm. That's interesting, though. Like, literally, one of the two niggas is going to jail, if not both of them. Yeah. Because if Melly's found guilty, that nigga Borland's gone, too. They ain't going to get that. And they go get that nigga the death penalty, too. Hmm. More than likely, they go try and push it for him, even though he's not the one that killed. You're still keeping up with it and shit? No. Well, I, I'm, just, I'm just going based off old shit, just like the, what uh, I see happening. With the mistrial shit, though, they can't. 
Isn't there something like they can't try him for a death penalty or something like that? They can. That's still they never tried him for it yet. He has to be found guilty first for them to try it. So when they find him guilty on first degree, that murder, that well, it's federal. It's a federal. Free Melly. Yeah, that nigga. Melly, once you come fried. out, the first the first interview you should do is with us. His first day out is gonna be crazy. Like the yeah. song. Low key. Okay, hold up. We got between Melly and Thug. Who got a better, who Th- got a better chance of getting out? Thug. Thug stuff is circumstantial. Melly shit is co- damn it concrete, nigga. His phone's in the car. His phone's pinging off all these locations where the car was at. Mm-hmm. Nigga, he got yeah, blood splatter that. on his clothes. Nigga, there's just so much shit. The only thing they don't have is a gun. Mm-hmm. They just can't find it. Now, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck they did with this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga, they some, world co- uh, well, they some terrible murderers, but good at the same time because you can't find a gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. The better question is when the fuck... Is it going to be a decision of the shit? Because it's going to like go on for years? Yeah, or he, like, ha- he has to go back to trial. When, I, when does that start? Uh, apparently, it's next month. Yeah, I, was like, I thought it was supposed to be February. Yeah. That, and remember, yeah, that, dude, I, I've that, been clocked that, up. That, yeah, that whole shit. Remember, Let me know when, when they have a decision. When they had the mistrial shit, that was back in July. But it's crazy because there's so many people that know what actually have. Like, for example, Fredo Bang knows exactly what the fuck yeah, happened in that car. Shit. No, he not. But just like the fact that he was involved in all of it, he didn't kill nobody. But he he was literally with the nigga moments after, like all the shit. The, the, the Melly shit, like yeah, he was there he, that night with them niggas. Oh, I remember them saying that. Like, he like texted after, him, right? Like or, after, well, I don't know or, exactly what, but either way, after all this shit happened, he was with that nigga, like that same night. Oh, and then, <laughs> bro, the, the nigga knows exactly what the fuck. He hasn't happened. been going to court or anything. Like they don't have any evidence to bring him in, or like uh-huh. test or whatever. They, uh, I think they him. tried to get him to come testify or some they shit. Obviously, he said no. Yeah. Oh, just okay. You can say yeah. that. Okay. But like that nigga was with him that night that they found out that the nigga was dead. But of course, they already knew the nigga was dead. So it's just like, <laughs> but it's shit crazy. It, it, just it think about the case is unreal. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly kind of like, I'm just, I'm just like T said, just hit me when you got a verdict. Maybe, maybe when I feel like I'll really get into it. Cause when I was, when it first came out, like you said, like that shit was mm-hmm. insane. But like, nigga, these trials are when long. It is, yeah, this is long. So how many, yeah. I can only be invested and interested in it so much for like a little bit. So I just, former niggas is like, All right, just let bro. me know what happens when and it happens. ain't really shit popping off right now. It's kind of dead right yeah, now. Yeah, like no they, new, like yeah. crazy substantial we'll evidence. What's up. Next month, we'll see what the vibes is. Yeah. I wish him the best of luck, though. That nigga ain't getting out, but that nigga's fried. So. Nigga, um, Tory got a better chance of getting out than that nigga. What 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 oh are we God. talking? What are we talking about today? One substantial thing is uh, Ice Spice. What think you this it? shit fart? What? That's her new song. Think you this shit? You think Why? you this shit fart? That's what, literally what it's called. Think you this shit, bitch? You not even a fart. The song's called "You Think You This Shit Fart." That's fart. terrible. Fart. Parentheses. Okay, damn. That's literally terrible. Wait, fart is in parentheses. You think you this shit? Parentheses. Fart. Exclamation point. Yeah, bro, I'm not listening. I'm, I'm rocking Spice. with that song. It's just a funny song. Oh, any Shout bitch out to her. with a name as of a song called Fart, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I, I feel you. That's I listen, crazy. I listened to it for the first time this morning, and I was like, oh, okay. If this came on in, in the club, I'd be like, okay. It's just a funny song. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm like, like a funny song. I'll be vibing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. How we feel about Ice Spice? Well, uh, we had this debate at the, at the, at the cigar bar that night. I remember we, t- we were talking about this. About just women in music in general. So let me just let me just ask Jamar this: Who do you feel is like a noble female rapper? Like who? Like give me someone who like you're like oh she's that bitch. Glorilla. I can't think of one. I, I would say Nikki because she's the most predominant, but I don't even like her. I think she's overrated, personally. You think Nicki Minaj? I is think overrated. Nicki Minaj is overrated. But in what? Please back that up. That, that. Just rapping in general. I just feel like she's overrated. Holy fuck! That's that's just that's my take on her. I've nah. never I've never seen the hype. But you know, everyone has their opinion. I, I honestly, I, res- I would rather listen to Cardi B. I'm gonna respectfully dis. Oh god damn! You just like, said Cardi B's better than Nicki. I would rather listen to Cardi B. You rather listen to her? I'd or you rather, said she's better. Like I, I put this way. I'd rather listen to her because I like her music better. I think okay, she, I think she's, but I think she's a better rapper. That's, but you know, it is just that's me. You think, so you're saying you think she's a better rapper? I think she is. Wow. Nicki just has way more music. This is the only. This, that's the only. But like, like bar comparison. for bar, lyrically, you think Cardi? I B's think better. Cardi B would beat her in a rap battle. Personally, that's what I think. That's your opinion, but fuck your opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, bro. 
Nikki just bro, Nikki's just solidified. Like, bro, she's literally been in the game for so long that at, she was out. Well, fuck all that. We're talking about lyrics. Lyr- and bars. I think Cardi B lyrically her- out rapper. Cart. If you got the thing is, is when you got mm. someone who's as substantial as Nikki's been, like she paved the way for. And I understand. Well, not even. No, she not she and, didn't pave the way for these bitches. It, what? Now you know how many female rappers came before her. That's okay, but like laid the foundation out and like no. the, for the, the new style school, of music of new school. No, new school Lil female Kim rappers. did that. Lil Kim did oh, that. Oh Lord. Lil Kim, Lil Kim, out, Lil Kim, and Remy Ma. They 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 paved the way for these bitches for them. <laughs> Literally, Lil Kim it single-handedly did, okay, did that. It, they did, but like on some like super mega star like level. Lil Kim, that that was her. She wasn't a fucking like a mega star. She was back for that because time on, frame. She was only because of Biggie and shit. But I'm saying because of that time frame, she was a mega star. Right, she she did what she did, and it was like. At that point but like on some like superstardom like Nick, like like what, with the wait, character and wayne like wayne put wayne put her in that statue if without wayne she is oh, never she definitely gonna had be cosigns and but, shit, but no, she I'm did saying, that on her own but i'm saying wayne over pete wayne put wayne and p diddy in the same room which one's gonna produce the big artist and we you said clearly put, see put wayne and p diddy wayne and p diddy take okay. the artists that they have underneath them who's the bigger artist wayne has always produced bigger artists than than puff so it's just like I mean, that's and, true. So what are you so trying to say? That, that's, that's my point. Kim didn't get the recognition for like in that time frame. She was good and she was popping, but bro, P Diddy's time in which he was like popping wasn't that long compared to Wayne's time when he was popping. This nigga Wayne was popping for over a decade. You're proving my point. No, I'm I'm not. I'm actually I'm actually telling you. Oh, because of that. Because that's of why that. she wasn't. That. If P no, Diddy's time that frame was bigger. She, well, longer. Jamari's trying to say if you would have take took look him and put her under Wayne, then she would have been. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because, because of that, like time and error, because of the P Diddy, like she wasn't. Literally. She, I don't she, think that's serious. I think I think it really just comes down to the fact that Nikki had everything. First of all, it's two different eras in a sense. He, he also just because it's I different. Know, like you got like there's so many things that play into it, like the internet and everything like that. Like just the following of Nicki Minaj was just such a movement. I don't I, at least I wasn't in that time frame with Look Kim to know so much, but I don't think she had like there's no like army around Lil Kim like there is around Nicki Minaj. That's what I'm you saying. She had like the it factor, just like the, yeah. the whole package deal. That's like, like that, bro. That's like that's so, that has can, not been done before. I could take the same thing. I could take my argument and make it like this. For example, I could take the Pac and I could take Drake. Which one's bigger? Who's bigger? Pac or Drake? Pac. Who? Which one's the, which one's the bigger? Who's who's a mega star? Why? Well, that's actually a good question. Who's that, bigger? Oh, who's I would say famous? I would say. Tupac is just his name. It's Drake is Drake, mm. of course, but Tupac. It's, it, Tupac is like at this point like the blueprint of rap music. When Which you think of crazy, rap music, yeah. you think of Tupac and Biggie. It's how long they've been out. Yeah, like, what so it's like that. That they're still relevant. Yeah, so, as but they yes, weren't Drake out. But see, the crazy thing is they weren't out that long. Yeah, but still. Oh, so that they, adds more to like correct. how big their for the is. time frame that they were out. They were so monumental to the actual era they were in. And in reality, the whole. Aura of hip hop. Biggie ain't bullshit. even that big of a star. Biggie's not that big of a star compared to Pac. Biggie's like minuscule to Pac because Biggie had a short run. He could rap his ass off, but he had a short run. And then that, te- and then he only dropped, technically speaking, two albums in the, the time before he the died. Thing, the thing that added to Pac was like his uh, outside po- of his like influence. political yeah. type shit as well. Right, exactly. That that added to it. Kind of like a Bob Marley. Just the music yeah. was it did its thing, but then like the. Like more than music, the deeper yes. like political substantial. Biggie like, wasn't on that. Biggie yeah, was, nah, just, he was just straight music, music. Yeah. He was straight music, and like yeah. movies here and there. But that's yeah. it. But no, that sure. you could take, but you could take like that. Okay, so I, I mean, I don't know. I'm I would rather hear Cardi and rap than Nicki, and I think Cardi B can out rap Nicki. That's just my take on her, on that. Hey, just man, saying. I'll let you hold. I don't up. give a fuck who paved the way, nigga. That don't take away that the one bitch can rap better than the other bitch. I would say I don't think there's any. Cardi verse that can compare to like even like a monster Nikki verse. I don't think she has a better verse than her. See, monster Nikki's monster verse is like a Kendrick. Uh, what the fuck song is? Cardi it? doesn't have a verse that's better than uh, uh, Nicki Minaj monster. Well, monster her, mon- her, her monster verse think. was just on yeah, some no, like weird I, crazy I, shit. Let me let me just make sure it's I'm clear. Different. Let me just make sure uh, we're clear. I fuck with Cardi B. She's cool. Yeah, I fuck. I like I, when Cardi be rapping. Person. I be like, I be like, oh shit, this shit hard. Like she be rapping her ass off. And that's all. I don't it know is. if she writes it or not. I don't even give a fuck. I don't care. But my point being is, 
I'll I still Kobe. recognize that Nikki is the goat as far as that goes. I mean, I'll say whatever we can say whatever we want about Nikki as far as like her and the way she acts now and her kind of being like bitter and I don't this give and that. A fuck about that. All I'm saying is that she, in terms of Nikki versus Cardi, I prefer to listen to Nikki. And with this conversation, we do have to, to we do have to put that into account because she probably. I, we might have to fact check this, but I'm pretty sure she has writers, Cardi B, and she probably on do. some like lyrical bar for bar shit. That means something because Nikki doesn't. I'm pretty sure Nikki doesn't have writers, so oh, that yeah. plus just like bar for bar because like if if Cardi had writers, put this way without without then that would, like, without, be like, without like, not knowing we're talking about rap, rap, like, but I'm talking about without knowing someone has writers or not. That that, that I'm not even not even talking. I know about when you listen to music, you don't give a fuck. But no, the conversation I, I mean, we're I having do, right but now. I'm saying we don't actually know for a hundred for that to be a hundred percent fact. Do we give a fuck if somebody no. has a writer? When we're talking we about who's because better still, I, I, as a rapper, like a rap head, when we're talking about who's better, uh, like bar for bar, not on some like who's music listened to more. We kind of have to take that into account because that's a big deal. They're not that's not them rapping. That's you know what I'm saying. So True. we have to put that in the checklist of like what makes a rapper like a better rapper. Like, are they writing their own shit? Like, so in, in this in this conversation, I anything really, anything else? It's like who gives who who gives a fuck? True, but all uh, in all, Nikki the goat, better than all these rap bitches. Yeah, I'm not fucking with Nikki. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I can't listen to a Nicki Minaj song to save my motherfucking life. The Monster Verse is cool, but other than that, bro, I like I bro. I don't remember like like she dropped the album. And she did a song with Cole, bro. I didn't even listen to it. I just, bro, I legit can't listen Nicki to it. Nicki Minaj has a song with J. Cole. Yeah, on her album. Really? Bro, but I won't listen to it because I don't like her. Like, I don't know. It's not even her as a person. It's literally, I don't like her music. Like I said, I think she's overrated. I feel you. Like, wow. people have her praise where she at. That's cool. But me personally think she's Oops. overrated. I wouldn't call Nicki Minaj overrated. That is actually a crazy statement to me, but I'm not, I'm not going to argue about, I argue do. With you about it. I'm not saying she's not talented. But I think she's definitely over, over, overrated. If overrated. we're going to go over, under, or perfectly rated, I think she's overrated. I feel like it needs to come down a little this bit. This is going to be interesting. Just saying. It's interesting clip back, there. Hey, hey, we're gonna get. Nicki Minaj is overrated. Oh, and it's that. Clip that. Oh, all right. Um, we just, will. Just uh, in other news, um, Super Bowl 50 what is coming up? Oh, Mama Don't actually, ask like, me. You know, what Super Bowl is this? Shit, I wish I knew. Hey Siri, what Super Bowl the, is it? The Super Bowl is coming up. We got a a, a great performance coming from our boy Usher. Usher, Usher Raymond. Or is it gonna be Taylor Swift? Is there really a debate about that? Like, I was so <laughs> nah, I was it's, bringing it's, up it's, it's, who, it's who, who low key, who performing. has been the best Super Bowl performance that you've seen? <clears throat> the weekend, low key. Thank you. This shit was fi- actually fire. Like the set up in the stage presence and all that shit yeah on tv it looked good i think when you were actually there i don't think it looked that good because remember the How nigga was remember the nigga was like were you there no we was watching on tv i know so the, the pain no, you're saying makes no, it think like you were there <laughs> but what i'm saying is from the tv perspective if you watch where this thing, but i'm saying where the nigga was at on when he was like in the little mirror room thingy you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, yes. He wasn't on the field, and you couldn't actually see him. You had to watch the monitor to see him. So based off that aspect, once he actually got on the field, the shit was fire for the people in person. For us watching it on TV, the shit looks fire, and it was yeah, fire. I think, sh- I think that was the best Super Bowl performance. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just pointing out the fact that if he was actually there, it's, I feel like, it yeah, wasn't If you, you look at the screen, then, you, then it'd be cool to see him come out, and then he's on the field. I, I don't know. I mean, what? <laughs> This is like a couple of weeks ago, but since we're talking about performances, what was up with that Jack Jack Harlow shit? Everybody was conning him about. Oh, just because it, like <laughs> it looked like he had a fucking like a, a float from Timu. <laughs> All right, you and this Timu shit. <laughs> like, he had a fashion over float at his uh on, at the super uh, sorry Look, super Bowl, at the the Lions game. That was on that was on Christmas, was that? Some holiday. When Jack Harlow was performing, um, we gotta rewatch that was it. Christmas or Thanksgiving. That's old. I know, I know. But yeah, no, nah, he they, they was just clowning him because he had like it was like it was some float, and then like some guy came his, out right. His friend was on. He stage was just like, just, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of. Funny. I don't even know what the fuck was going on there. Yeah. But yeah, so um, I think that the weekend, if I had to say the top, my top three for, that I've witnessed, mine seen, because I know everyone's gonna say Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. I already know that. I would say that I've seen is going to be, the weekends. Um, Rihanna's I really fucked with hers mm. Even though she was pregnant Yeah I really did like her performance I will say Hold on Who else performed? 50 Cent 
I did fuck with that. Wait, let me look this shit up real quick. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. No, nah, the goaded one though, Janet Jackson, Justin Timberlake. Oh, That's my number one. That shit was fucking monumental. That changed shit. I don't remember any Super Bowl halftime performances. Not gonna. You lie remember to that you. one though? I just remember that one clip. That shit was crazy. Titty pop out. That shit was crazy. I still be where you watching that shit from time yeah, to time. 2019. <laughs> 2019, it was with Maroon 5 with Big Boy and Travis Scott. Travis. Oh, they had Justin Timberlake in 18. Again? Beyonce was in 2016. Uh, I'm sorry. Beyonce and Destiny Child in 2013. And in 11, they had the Black Eyed Peas, Usher, and Slash. Damn. Paul McCartney was up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do they get paid to play? Uh, play you don't game? get paid. Just exposures and insane. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought they got paid. You don't get paid. You don't get paid. They give you a budget to do the shit, apparently. But, like, they were saying, like, the weekend, I guess, like, they gave him X amount of money, but he paid his, out of his own pocket. He didn't give a fuck. Not. He wanted that. He wanted that. He Why would you not, though? Bro, he did the shit out of spite, though. You if know. anything, that, why would the, the Super Bowl wouldn't pay somebody to perform? People would pay to perform at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, I could see artists, like, paying what? to perform. If you were a huge artist and you were trying to even get even bigger, were. if you could say, if they if the Super Bowl said, ah, you want to perform this year, we're going to choose between da 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 this many people. You got to, if you get chosen, you select it, you got to pay, let's say, 10 mil. That, and that might yeah. be a modest number. Yeah. But let's say you got to pay 10 mil, you got to pay 15 mil to come pay, to come, to come perform at the Super Bowl. For example, <laughs> Drake, you won't see that nigga performing at no damn Super Bowl. The only reason why Drake won't perform at the Super Bowl, I feel like, is because he doesn't, he's not like a dancer. They want like pop, like he has pop, pop songs, music. but he doesn't People like dance. Do it all. You got a better chance so, of seeing I mean, Chris Brown I mean, at the Super Bowl than you have of seeing Drake. And that nigga Chris ain't paying to perform in those, he ain't, pay, he ain't, he ain't going to perform in those Super Bowl. They don't want that nigga on national TV, bro. Because The white allegations. people don't like that nigga. Because of his image. Yeah. But then his image, it's crazy. His image ain't even that fucking. This nigga, bro. No, I can't remember the last time this nigga did some shit. I, I don't disagree with you. No, I'm I'm, saying, I but know. I'm saying. You, but you, but we no, can't. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you do. I'm just pointing out, like, damn, bro. It's crazy. They don't really like that nigga because his image, but his image ain't been bad since that incident. Yeah, that's the thing. He's had a couple of things, like, like here and there. Like, not, it's been a couple of years. I'm not going to lie, but like, where he was like, Punch somebody or do some weird shit like on drugs. Oh, and yeah, shit like yeah. That. I mean, he did. Nobody, nobody really talks about that. Everyone just yeah. talks about the reality. There's a streak of that. Bro, and that nigga, this nigga you, now is, I think he's like 34 or some shit. Like, bro, that shit when he was 18. Yeah. <laughs> bro, we talking 16 years. Y'all niggas still don't like this nigga. That shit's crazy. It's all Even about Rihanna what forgive him. Think. Forgave him. Bro, he like, got this tattoo on still, his neck. You got this. People who still don't fuck with Michael Vick. But yeah. it's weird, nigga. Because it's a fucking dog. Nigga, you live, you learn, nigga. It's a dog. I know. That's just how it is. Like, so I like dogs, but damn. That's life, my nigga. But they love Michael Jackson, huh? Yes. That's crazy. Everyone loves Michael That's Jackson. Cra- I love Michael Jackson, but I'm just pointing out that they love Michael Jackson. They, won't, they don't give a fuck what this nigga <laughs> may or may not have did. Mm. Mm-hmm. Anywho, what else y'all want to talk about today, man? I don't know. It's a good question. What else has happened? I uh, mean, shit. I mean, I can tell you what has been happening the past couple of weeks is these goddamn Stanley Cups. Oh, that whole craze. Man, that shit got taken by storm with white girls and shit, bro. Like, let me let me just what, what it kind of already what, died down. What camera am I am I looking at, Jamari? One in the middle. Okay, oh, let's make sure I'm right. This is a message to white women. I have a question. What is the craze about these fucking Stanley Cups? Yeah. I don't get it. Like, is this like, what is it? I, I please, and I and I have a Stanley Cup by the way, just so you know. You fucking hypocrite. Yeah, oh, I have yeah. a Stanley. I'm not hating on the Stanley. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not hating on the Stanley. I just, I, I wouldn't stand in line for this shit. Stand in line. Oh, okay, yeah. I wouldn't stand in line for a fucking Stanley Cup. What features make it just like? Make it stand out from like another cup like that that has people going crazy. It's just the, it's just the name, the hype, yeah. but like that went to some like godly cult like levels. Like people getting arrested for it, people waiting out and camping for it, which is fucking crazy. A goddamn cup that's wild. Girls yeah. are weird. I don't get it, I don't understand. And I got this Stanley Cup for free. Jacqueline gave me this. Shout out to Jacqueline, <laughs> love you. She gave me this shit. So, because I know, and she's bro, you she, she got a cabinet full of Stanley yeah, I saw Cup. That. That's cool, that's fine. And I'm like. 
that's that's fire. Like if you got because I think she's partnered with Stanley, so that's some other shit. Yeah, it makes complete. Yeah, sense. but I'm just yeah talking about the, even 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 without that, she still fucks with Stanley. I just know I just see all these white girls going. I mean, not even just white girls, girls in general. But I'm saying white girls is low key like a little white girl thing. Oh my, bro, it's a fucking thermal cup. God damn, nigga, you drink out that shit like, <laughs> bro. This shit, bro. I wanted to make a video about this shit, shit, bro. That shit's fucking ridiculous. Go ahead, go nigga, on. You spend. The hundreds of dollars, wait, niggas wait, it's hundred of dollars? bro. Niggas is reselling these bitch for oh, hundreds of dollars. That's smart for some shit that's twenty dollars maybe to when keep you buy, your home. When you when you buy them, I think they're like fifty bucks. My nigga, you could go buy on Amazon and find thermal cups of shit that you actually fuck with. But it's not a Stanley. It don't matter, nigga. Your home, your ice go stay. Nigga, I got a Ravens thermal cup. Nigga, my ice could stay icy for like three days in that bitch. For, that, for real? Yes. You got a Ravens thermal cup? Where yes, I got two of them from Timu. No, NFLsports.com. Shout out to them. This, this is not sponsored by them. What the fuck? Nigga trying to get... <laughs> Who's what? Stanley? Nigga, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, though. That's the nigga from um, the Parkers. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, bro, that <laughs> shit, that shit don't even make no sense, yeah. bro. TikTok can hype up anything and make bro, some shit blow. That shit's insane. The power insane. of TikTok nowadays is actually crazy. Bro, like, it's a fucking cup. Like, I'm sure they have multiple thermal cups, nigga. And now that everyone's going to get thermal cups, you want to rush out and grab one. Why? Cause more than likely, it's to resell to make money. That's because it's I'll so hyped. That. Not they, even, not in some cases, yes. But in most cases, it's people that, because if this, to resell and make money, that means there's still people who will pay hundreds of dollars for a fucking I cup. I know, but I'm saying if it was. So the demand but is But I'm there. saying me, if I know everyone's hyped up about it, I'm the one that's going to go wait in that line to get that shit just so I can resell it. Correct, I, which is which is which is fine. But there's people who are waiting in line. But just, that's all them. That's the only reason why I'm going to get this fucking cup. But they resell to these dumbass motherfuckers, dumbass white bitches that want fucking cups. But there are people waiting in line, Jamar, who are who are just going to like dumb. use the cup to, to to take the work and drink. Yeah, nigga, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Just, I just don't see the hype and get it. I don't. I don't get fucking it. Fucking ridiculous. I mean, I mean, what was that? People, it'd be crazy because white girls can clap back and be like, "Well, y'all were going crazy with this Popeye's chicken sandwiches." Uh, <laughs> damn, white girls! <laughs> it's gonna be a, a white girl and black <laughs> nigga war. <laughs> You guys are fucking standing outside for chicken? <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. Y'all was standing outside for little out there on cups. What you got there on coffee? I ain't even thinking about that shit. Hell no. Well, you people. You gave them ammo, nigga. <laughs> what do you, you mean, you people? <laughs> All right, that was you hilarious. Know, imagine, imagine you. you they got bro. smoked over that chicken imagine. sandwich. <laughs> nah, people was literally dying. Like somebody got stuck. Niggas, niggas, niggas were dying shit. over Holy those fuck. Popeyes. Maybe we have to take a step back. <laughs> niggas were dying over those Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Just and like and you had you have you have another night, and this nigga was like, "I don't get the hype." I'm like, "It's all hype." No, it's no, no, no. The shit was fire. Like when it first came out, but yeah. like years later, when nobody gives a fuck, the bitch probably was like, "Yeah, here you go." But like, it nigga, wasn't that. It didn't hit Chick-fil-A that. Yeah. Sandwiches. At the end of the day, though. y'all yeah. gotta realize it's a fucking sandwich, and it's just chicken. It's just nigga, chicken. you only can make it's chicken so many different ways. The pop, the, the shit is good. I I don't disagree with it's you. It's not not when it's good. made correctly because mine wasn't made like to perfection. And with don't be crispy, they don't be. You have to understand, bro. Like in today's time, especially. With the internet and shit, hype is everything, bro. Because even I was willing to potentially go wait in line to go get a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Because you, everyone's just like, yo, you got to try it. I'm just like, oh, this, like, Let's what am I missing out? No. You want to be in. You want to yeah, be I in. I want to know what the fuck the hype be about, so I'm going to go try this shit. Right. And I waited in line for a long time to get that shit the first time. And then when I got it, I was like, oh, this is good. But, nigga, I'm not waiting as long as I'm for the damn chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Speaking good. of Popeye's, I was just watching this video earlier. This dude was... Comparing, uh, he did Popeyes versus KFC versus Church's chicken. What did he say was the he best? He said Church's was the best. Church's might really? have the best chicken. Yes. I ain't never ate there before. I don't know what that tastes like. You ain't ate Church's? Nah, I ain't never been you that. Ate Church's, right? As a kid, yeah. Church's was always pretty good. Just the store was kind of nasty. Low key, can we restaurant? Get some, can we get some, when we go to farms? Can we stop and get some? Damn, I want some chicken. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't even ate yet, so yeah. I'm hungry. I had a honey bun. This nigga Terrence, two hundred like, bun. This nigga Terrence yeah. pulled up earlier. He had a bag. Fuck you. And I was like, okay, I didn't really think too much of it. Anyways, I don't know where he pulls a honey bun. Honey packed honey is, bun. It is honey it is bun. Noon. 
He pulls a honey bun out of, yeah, it, out of the bag. It was two bun. for one. <laughs> I didn't know what I was craving at the time, and then I was kind of rushing the here. The icing so, on it? Yeah, not the good, not the dry uh, ones. Nah, he, not the one with the not, not the white icing, Paul. Oh. It had a coating of it. Yeah, okay. I'm saying, but he's talking about the ones like the glaze. Oh, it's all the glaze. You know what the, I'm white, about? No, the white icing on the top. Yeah, where it's like the white, like yeah, it was that's, that's on be it. Hitting. It was lightly glazed. I never, I never really ate though. I would eat those sometimes. Back in the day, what what would you what did we used to eat? We used to go get like hot fries and shit, right? Shit. Oatmeal pies. I don't even remember that. I Zebra remember cakes. Bro, I don't smoke too much weed, nigga. I remember half the shit I've done in my life. What? <laughs> I remember shit. You did it, bro. My mind, bro. My mind is fried, nigga. I can't remember a lot of shit. That was random and that is crazy, crazy as fuck. Because you weren't even though. smoking like that. I did. Okay. I remember back when we was kids. Jamari actually, Jamari's uh, his dad, and he had like a kind of a lit pantry. A lit pantry. Yeah. Jamari, like they had y'all had some snacks. Yo, but at your crib, y'all was always making like snacks and shit. Making like, snacks. Yeah. So like his spot was 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 the spot to go get that shit. Anyways, I don't. I, I always love Cheez Its. Still to this day, y'all fuck with Cheez Its. I fuck with Cheez Its. I love them. I, I had, crave I had, them. I had a debate the other night about uh, bagel bites versus pizza rolls. Bagel bites. I always been a pizza roll guy. Yeah, me too. I'm a bagel bite type ass nigga. I mean, bro, at our crib, bro, we used to eat Oreos a lot. If we went to get some shit, it was probably like some. I don't even know, nigga, because I had like you said, we had all the snacks at the crib, and then like we used to have fucking honey bun. I mean, honey cinnamon buns. rolls and shit. Mm. So I don't know. Cinnamon rolls. Tell him, bro, my brain is fucked. I don't remember nothing. It's that bad? Yeah, bro, I can't remember half the shit I've done in my life from a while ago. Like, bro, I don't remember college like that. You're this fucking nigga, burnout. This nigga, this nigga got dementia. Low key. Early stages. Might need to get that checked out, man. Anyways, uh, moving on. I don't even remember what I did last week. What time we at, by the way? Oh, I don't know. What this shit say? 41 and mini. Uh, okay, this is going to be a short episode. Um, Let's see. What else? So, I don't know if anyone wants a Gasparilla. Nigga, you but, had to live uh, in Tampa to go to Gasparilla. You said what? You had to live in Tampa to go to Gasparilla. <laughs> I'm aware of that. No, you don't. <laughs> Oh, I you got have to shit. live in Tampa. Hold up, wait. Uh, I mean, you don't have to live here, but let man. me just say this: you can't get in, bro. To all- you're from Maine, because <laughs> <laughs> so, me and T was out last night. To all the motherfuckers who who was paying 125 dollars to get into these goddamn bars, like Soho. Yes, that's insane, bro. That shit is free on yes. any day of the week. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Nigga, what? Dumbass <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> But Nelk was at Bar Howard last night. You said Nelk? Yeah, Nelk was. These popular YouTubers. Yes. They was at Bar Howard? Yes. That's funny. Where it costs so, 140 to get in. Yeah, that's you said it costs 140 dollars to get in there, right? Homegirl say us 140. That's insane. Because when Jay pulled up, when he was chilling last night, Jay, shout out to Jay. He um, paid $140? No, no. He pulled up to McDenton's. He was like, he, te- he was texting me, asking where me and T was. He was like, bro, they're charging 70 to get into McDenton's. I said, are you kidding me? But it is gas for the weekend, so I guess I'm not surprised. Nigga, fuck am I paying $70 for to get some watered down alcohol? Just to sit there. Nigga, up. and I bet you they upcharge on alcohol in there. I nigga, if I'm paying $70, nigga, everything in that bitch better be free. <laughs> dead ass. Everything. Is free. Bro, dead ass, bro. I'm paying, I'm paying oh, y'all $70 for some shit that's always free to get in. For then y'all to charge me alcohol to get in there. To end shitty service at that. And parking, he said, was $40. Yeah, they crazy as fuck. <laughs> He said parking was forty bucks. Oh Remember yeah, he, he did said? say parking was forty dollars. Yeah. So, bro, to have a good night that night, it's at least three hundred. At minimum. least by yourself, you need at least two hundred dollars. Yeah. You have you done Gasparilla before? Fuck no. What? Who the fuck? I'm not going to stand in no damn parade, nigga. What the fuck is a parade doing for me? Go on, go bro. That ass, bro. I'm sick. Of all these white people talking about. I'm going to parade. I'm going to parade, nigga. Fuck that parade, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. It's just a par- nigga. You want to stand on the street and drink alcohol and watch niggas walk down the street? That shit is the dumbest shit ever, bro. I'd rather watch paint dry. Than beads, that shit. though. No, I'd rather watch paint dry, nigga, than fucking go stand at a parade that's and be boring. like, oh, that's a nice float, nigga. Fuck that float. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, a parade is the dumbest shit ever. There's and colorful beads, no, though. No, bro. Fuck that. Nigga, that shit is dumb. This nigga is passionate. Niggas, bro. Niggas be hype over it's a, a parade. Vibe. Nah, bro. What is them <laughs> Standing there and watching me like, oh, that was a nice vote. <laughs> There's cool nah, costumes. I'd rather go to a strip club. See bitches that shake ass. black as fuck. <laughs> While eating chicken. <laughs> and I don't even go to strip clubs. I don't even like strip clubs. But, like, bro, I'd rather do anything else other than go to a it's parade. the experience, bro, and the costumes and people nigga. coming together. 
Pirates. Nigga. No, nigga. I just wanted to keep, you to keep on going. No, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I've I, I never been to Gasparilla, but. I was point. Nigga, you like parades? You want to get drunk and go stand outside and watch some shit walk go past you? You I mean, bro, it's not like it's a party. I mean, bro, that's I mean, I guess technically it is kind of a party, I guess, in a sense. I don't I don't know. I've never I've never been out there, so I don't know. If you're over in that area, if you have like a crib that you can kind of be in in that area, I feel like maybe that'd be fun. You could like that's go out to the parade, right. get lit, go back to your crib, go back out, whatever the fuck you want to do. But other than that, like T said, it's really just walking. So but that's no hate. I mean, I I fuck with like that that people do it. I mean, it's cool. Nigga, I'd but I drunk, don't want to do it. I'd rather myself. get drunk and go to Disney. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nigga, I don't even like Disney. Get drunk and go to I'd Disney? I'd rather get drunk and go to Disney. A place for fucking like five-year-olds? Wait, but we walking around. We gonna be walking around. I'd rather do that and drink and ride rides or some shit. They man. don't have rides at Disney, do they? Yeah. Like little, like little ass like. No, no, no. There's so, there's so many. Theme. There's so many really? theme parks. I thought it was, like, that was uh, Universal. Now there's like four theme parks in Disney, and they don't all have like big rides. They're like, but a lot of the rides are, like indoor and shit like oh, that. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Okay, I but yeah, was, bro. I don't like Disney because I don't like Disney as a company. But I'd rather go to Disney and be drunk than go to fucking a parade and be drunk. Like that shit's I don't know, it's pointless to me. I never I saw you. I never saw the purpose in it. That camera turn on? No, no. Uh, you saw all of them are dead? No, this one's still going. Oh, okay. It's still good. Holy shit, man, that was hilarious. Now nah, we had some hilarious segments. Fucking Gasparilla and the uh Stanley Cup shit. What? I just said we have some funny segments. Oh. Clippable segments. Stanley Cup. Oh. We can't go too too long today because the, the uh, AFC Championship is going to be on in 45 minutes. Hockey Stanley Cup. Maybe we should get a... Uh, I'm sure that Taylor Swift Super Bowl performance coming soon. Man, fuck Taylor Swift. Bro, you don't like Damn. anybody. What she do to you? I don't like her as far as NFL goes. I don't care about her any other way. I, I don't. I'm on some Kanye shit today, I guess. This Maybe. nigga done dissed the Swifties, Ooh. the fucking Beehive. You're gonna get your fucking shit as a. I'm not bro. really a fan not of not the Beehive, the Barb's. Who's the Beehive? Beyonce. Oh yeah, you're I, right. You're right. Beyonce. Eh, I ain't gonna say. All that right, chill out. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's let's talk about who you like. Tory Lanez. Yeah. What about him? Look, he got he got he look he, he all giddy about him and shit. Pause. Yo, look at nigga. Jake got aroused. Yo, this yo, he's like ah, 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 ah Tory. Oh, oh, that's my I gotta boy. Keep, I gotta what about the up, nigga? Mark, the way you <laughs> yo about to cry. Yo. All right, bro. So I'm I'm a, cause I'm gonna keep it real, Jamar. Because I know you hate everybody. It's kind of questionable. Uh, you're, yeah. you're anti everybody, but the way you glaze Tory nah, Lanez. Bro, honestly, honestly, I just, bro, I just don't yeah. like. I, I, honestly, what it is, it is not even on no like. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, nervous. <laughs> Nigga's nervous. Yeah, you got like Tory Washer right now. <laughs> Nigga, I'm from like, I hope so. Like, nervous. What the fuck? I'm just trying to think of how I say it so I don't offend Yo, your whole demeanor just like changed. Like, no joking. Like, that shit needs to be studied. No, nah, fucking, um. Holy shit. Honestly, bro, I don't really, I'm not a fan of like female music like that personally. So, but when I am, there's only a select few that I actually like. So okay. like, who do you like? Like yeah. a, as a name of female I like, rapper? I like, you like, I mean, personality, music, Cardi B. anything. I, Cardi B. I like. Oh, you dislike? I like Summer Walker. Like I like the Summer rapper. My rapper. Rapper? Oh, none. I like none of them bitches. Personally. Not even older ones. Like I mean, yeah, Lauren I mean, Hill. I go Lauren Hill. Like if I'm going to Rhapsody. go older, yeah. If you go older, like Lauren Hill, you. I'm not a fan of Lil Kim. She cool, but only certain verses I've rap of her that I fuck with. Mm. Um. So no one. No, no, bro. There's really no fear. I don't like female rap. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I'd prefer if it just didn't exist. I did, I wish Damn. girls would just sing. Like mm. that is more. Female R and B is twenty times better than female rap. Female rap is like one of the, rap is I'm rap, mad at that. rap. In my opinion, is a male sport. It's I look at rap as being a sport. I feel like rap is you more of a some male crazy thing. hot takes today. I mean, bro, that's that's how I look at it. Bro, the women are dominating rap right now in music for whatever the fuck reason. 
But I feel like that's funny to say when like a, literally girls are running the shit. But, but I feel, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, but I feel like rap is a male sport, and I don't feel like girls can compete at all on any level. I feel, uh, they just it's just that no, nah, I don't feel you on that. It's really the time frame we live in as to why women are running the game. But as far as the actual music they make, it's fucking terrible. And every ad, bro, it's terrible. Terrible, bro, it's terrible. Oh. It just fits the time frame we live in. But if you were to let 20 years go from now, you won't play any of that shit that, we, that they make around That now. is not true. Yes. Bro, the music that people make nowadays is not really timeless. There's only a select few artists that make you're, you're judging music. that from like a mainstream of just what's out there on that level when there's, uh, there's good shit. Like you have to just go out and like find well, it. Remember, the, con- the, remember the conversation that we had with um, Andrew the other night? Like, name a timeless song over the last five years. There ain't too many. God's plan. That yeah. came, uh, did that come out five years ago? Oh, yeah. Being? That was like 2018, yeah. 2019. God's plan would be within that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a couple songs. If you want to go back like 10 album. years, I was saying like Dreams and Nightmares is a whole intro. Is a Better song. yet, nigga, what female rap song is timeless? And I'll wait. Shake your dress, shake your dress, <laughs> shake your dress. No. A Lauryn Hill song is timeless. Girl, you know that shit's timeless. That's definitely a timeless song. Yeah, but I'm talking about Daddy. modern day, like, like in the past ten years. No, we gonna go for 2014. What 20, 2014? 14. In the past fourteen years, name a timeless rap song. Wop. I feel like Doja got some timeless shit, but she's like more pop. She but she be more. rapping though. She do be rapping. See, um, but Doja Cat is Doja. Honestly, bro, Doja Cat out raps anybody making music right now. Doja can rap. That was just cool. But, like, bro, no female rapper that's pop, popping make has a timeless song. Think about that. All the bitches that you, that you look on your little Spotify shit that's making music, you can't name one timeless song that they have made since they've started rapping. Mm. They don't have any. We don't know that yet because it's, so, it's Wait, so new. But I'm saying since they've started till now, they don't have a song that you'd be like, yo, I can listen to this shit all. Like, they don't have that. But we don't know yet. Nigga, literally Doja Cat is literally the only person you could think of. Which is Paint the Town Red. That song, I feel like, will be timeless because of that beat. That's a rapping song right there. But that's one person. But I, I named the person. But she's a pop artist, too. So she's that's one person. That she's rapping in that, though. Yeah, but I'm saying that's one person. You said one. just name one person. I did. That, that's an exaggeration. Thomas like, song would be a hot nigga. Bobby Schmurder, right? Bobby nigga, Schmurder. that's a black person. I mean, a dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dude. I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm talking about girls. Okay, this is getting out of hand. I'm, no, I'm talking about literally a female artist okay. that has made a timeless song. I named one, nigga. There are no others because they don't. Bro, before, okay. I think you let hate slow, females. Let me, slow, let me slow you down. But I'm just. I'm just pointing out <laughs> to you. But, I hear you. Oh wait, but I'm just saying. I'm doing. I'm let them saying, cook. I'm saying what I'm saying to point out the fact that females run the rap game, but they don't actually make good music because if they did. Somebody would have made a timeless song, at least one, outside of Doja Cat. So you feel like no I'm female. I'm not mad at that. You feel, you, so you, so basically, let me. You feel like there's no female within the last like ten years who has a timeless song. No, and I name, but and I only name one. But I can't, I, bro. Literally, nothing else. Out of all the people that they say is hot right now, who has a timeless song? And if your song is a timeless, that proves that you don't really make that good of music because there's mo- there's multiple genres and like of course female rap like you know like even well not to decipher it by genres but uh you know like hip-hop there's trap there's you know sexual glamour glamorized shit the main i feel like the only thing that you're really talking about is like the mainstream because what, what sells sex mm-hmm. so it's all just the sexy res glorillas there's hella dope female artists they just don't have that light so i don't know if you're just strictly talking about that's exactly what i'm talking about mainstream okay Cause so because he doesn't care enough about female rappers to go dig for their rap their type of artistry i feel you i feel you yeah, so, so so it's like that's that debate when niggas like yo all this new shit is trash like bro there's definitely niggas out there who rapidly rap yeah the difference is is that you're going based off of what you hear on the radio yeah. or like online that that shit doesn't isn't out there like that if right. you want to find a rapper who raps yeah like that, like you t- can go find one. Like Tierra like, Whack, like she's not because she's not like sexualized. She's fucking who, fire. Like who, she's actually like a good artist and like dope as fuck. She's, I to her music. she's I new. She's like her. a newer. Uh, she's been out for some years, but like, like on some like, you know, just her old image. Her music videos are fire. Like, and she's actually rapping her ass off. Like, and like you just said, you, you don't know her. You don't really know her. Like, because yeah. she's yeah. Not, like, I'm not shaking her ass her. and shit like yeah. that. And she has timeless shit. So, 
something like that, like as a new rare person. Sex like. sells. So you guys got to think, we are visual people. So image goes a long way. So if someone's just shaking that ass. Mm-hmm. I mean, but bro, we could talk about dudes that rap that aren't mainstream and they have timeless songs. It's just no one knows about them. That's what I'm saying. I know. So, that's why I, 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 yeah. Anyone can make a timeless song, but it doesn't mean anything if nobody knows it. No, but there are people that are big enough, but not on the mainstream platform. For example, Larry June is a prime example. Nigga has timeless songs, but he's not really mainstream still. He's not mainstream at all. No, but he's big enough to work a lot of people. And if you played, if you said his name, a lot of people know him. Yeah. He's just not super mainstream, but he has he has a he has a couple timeless hits that he's made over since we started listening to him. So, yeah, but this, go, go I don't know. I don't know. This I whole don't. conversation is just perspective because yeah. like because the way you say it, you make it be like like female rap in general. But I know you're talking about mainstream. Yeah. it's like how you it's look at good. it from um, just. But if you really think about girl rap, there's there's like different. Boom that's, bap girls going yeah, crazy. Say, There's the like that do that. different like conscious shit. There's like trap shit where they're rapping too. So this is like see the conscious girls conscious rap would probably be fire. Tear rap be doing that. But outside of that, bro, I don't want to listen to no girl rap, nigga. If you gonna do something, sing. Then there's like that? then there's like uh what's the home girl uh, uh, like over on the concrete boy shit like her Caribou. and like and like Anissa like they, they're on their own little wave yeah. doing like their shit's actually fire I, as fuck. I fuck, I fuck yeah. yeah. So have you like, heard have you heard of Caribou? There's so much different is. types of girl rapping, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel, you, I feel. You. Know it's just a perspective thing. But just the mainstream. I mean, if we gonna talk, if I'm talking strictly okay, mainstream, mainstream, like, like your five, sex, but there's head, not but, one single timeless hit that they've made since they've came out. They haven't made one. I, I I'm not. Like mad at Granted, it hasn't been this. ten years since they made it. But if we listen to it now, perspective, bro. In two years from now, no one's gonna be listening to that shit. They're gonna be playing whatever else they play. Like they shit don't stick. I feel you. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. Versus if we take from mainstream specific. versus if we take mainstream guy male rappers, that they have made timeless hits over the past ten years. Yeah. That are mainstream. So it's just like that's crazy to think that men don't run music and but we they still make they make good songs still. So the, well, good. Go ahead, do you, you no, I was gonna say, yeah, to get in that lane to be of what you're talking about, you literally you have to look a certain way. You got you got to only talk about some certain shit. Mm-hmm. So when that certain shit, it's yeah, it's evidently not timeless. So. I mean, but bro, you can, you can. I feel like you can make a timeless hit as a girl and not talk about sex. You just have to have a. But catchy it's not ass, gonna be mainstream. You just like, have to what have you're a, talking about. You just have to have a catchy ass fucking hook. But it's not gonna be mainstream. But I'm saying if you are a mainstream rap uh, artist, that's you gotta a girl. like do some Doja shit. Probably talk about the devil or some shit. That's the only other thing I could possibly think of to where it'll be like mainstream and shit. She she is funny because she was talking about the devil. But in reality, bro, she was really talking about herself, like how she's that know, bitch type shit. The shot. hook was just catchy as fuck. But she took some shit that everyone says. But not everybody's going to know that. They're going to be like, see that and be like, oh, double. Like, and like shock value. And see, then- the video made it that before she did the video, nobody was really like, oh, shit. Like, this some satanic shit. Because when she did the video, she just ran with the whole entire image of like the what people shit. thought. Yeah, she ran with it. So it actually promoted it more. But I think without doing it, I think that song still was a hit because well, of the beat and the hook. Because that hook is catchy. Ooh, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a... Nigga, that song's catchy as fuck. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Oh, Leroy's um, done. That shit's fire. Nah, I'm just ready to watch the AFC Championship. Yeah, right, I, gotta, I gotta go, nigga. Uh, my dog Lamar. My dog Lamar. Lamar today. You going for Lamar today? Fake Falcons fan. Ooh. Fake Falcons fan? Yeah. Fake Falcons fan. Ravens fan. Oh, it was like, I'm going for. Because you root for a whole nother team now. You can't root for another team because your team gone. You just, uh, you. Nigga, you, you want to say. Who? You said I can't root for somebody else for another team. No. You only got one team. The Falcons. I ain't never known you to know it like another team. Can we wrap this up? Just saying. Uh, We appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode of the Payday All Podcast. Um, Jamari yeah, is a take. fucking clown Is all I'm going to say A true idiot um, Make sure you follow us on Instagram At Payday Off Podcast Like, subscribe, comment um, I was going to say Get your imperfect tees Or you can get this tee This is uh, A guy that I You ain't sponsored with. I fuck with Yeah, yeah I mean, not Go ahead um, <laughs> Get your uh, imperfect tees At uh, Tell him to pay you TroyBlyden.com Follow me at Roy Motos Follow him at T Greenery. And Jamari at Sincere Poppy. 
Also, hit up the little video. I'll be shooting, making videos and shit. Follow me at Prolific Projects underscore. You got to put the underscore. Thank you, you for uh, watching. We appreciate y'all just like that. We out.